Hey everyone, welcome back into Mountain Dog Companion. I'm here with Angie, um, hanging out with these puppies. We just did microchips, we did individual names, we did um, all sorts of stuff with these little guys. So super, super excited to show these guys off with you. Um, I'm just wanting to go through talking about each puppy here in today's video, just to give you a good idea of each one. We haven't done te temperament testing I, on, on the puppies yet, so um, we can kind of get in, de in depth on that if you um, reach out to us directly. But going through, talking about coloration, I'm going to be starting off with Sparkle. I know Angie's got Samson over there. Um, Sparkle here, nice white blaze in between her eyes, um, beautiful tan markings, um, really neat to see for that. Um, and one thing I have noticed is uh, the collar kind of wrapping around the top ending up in, in a really neat um, roundabout way. So really neat to see that. Um, nice white socks front and back and a nice tuxedo look up front as well. You can't really see because she's hugging the finger, but um, really sweet girl. Really neat to see there to start things off. Um, so that's Sparkle and she'll roam around here. And he's just gonna be helping me out here. Okay guys, next up here is Samson, uh, the nice little chunky male uh, by the way these guys' heads are absolutely phenomenal like just the shape um, and overall just furnishing with baby on by samson yeah what's <laughs> up buddy um but just a really nice head shape and beautiful furnishings as well along with that tan really popping so really neat to see that you got a nice uh, white blaze for him as well um, what i like about him and makes him a little bit unique is his socks being kind of um, uneven in the front, which I actually kind of like. Um, it kind of gives him a neat, special look there for you. Um, and then a nice white tuxedo up front with some tan on the face. Um, every one of these guys and girls have tan um, and have a white tip tail. So um, I'll just go through that um, as well. So, and Sage is next up here. Um, that was Samson, so. Um, doing very well here. This is Sage, um, a little girl. I'd say she's actually one of the biggest girls. Um, really, really nice looking girl. Beautiful socks front and back. She's also hugging my fingers, so I'll try and show them off to you. Um, but they're nice and even up front. Nice tan coming down. Beautiful white blaze in between her eyes and nice tan as well. So she's a little bit on the bigger side when it comes to the girls. We got the nice white tip tail as well, um, but really neat looking girl there. And keep rolling. This one so. is serious. Serious. Serious XM. <laughs> <laughs> is it Cyrus or Sirius? Sirius. Sirius. S -S -I -R -I -U -S. Okay. Serious. Okay. Yeah. So he must be one serious buff. <laughs> um, <laughs> but nice chunky little guy. I'd say he's probably as well. I'd say he's probably the biggest out of the boys as well. Um, not really weighing right now, but um, you got the nice white socks front and back. Beautiful tan, um, really neat looking guy. He does have a Swiss kiss up top and just a nice blocky square look up front um, along with a beautiful tuxedo up front as well. So a really neat looking guy there. Um, so, boy. Um, where are we at right now, Angie, as far as uh, going through the program and everything? We, we've kind of been doing some interactive toys. Right, um, so they've been interactive toys. Um, they've done all their sound therapy. They've done their ENS and ESI. So we just start working with um, getting <laughs> confidence levels with them. Um, mm -hmm. This is sh at Chic. Chic. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so they're, they've been kind of roaming around. This is like... This is one of my favorite things. Um, I'm sure it was as a toddler as well. So <laughs> um, pressing buttons, you'll see them all the time. I don't know if I'll do it through the video, but they'll press that top button. And it's actually I actually off turned right it now. off because it was so loud. I kept pressing it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna turn it on for a quick, quick second, but that's pretty much what it'll do. And they'll step on it and make it, it'll make a noise and it'll just help them kind of with mental stimulation. So moving on here to sweet little chic little girl um, in this litter, uh, coming along very well. 
Um, it does get a little bit annoying. Um, <laughs> but super sweet little girl. One thing that I really love about her is the amount of tan she has. Um, so she does have a little bit less weight, but just a beautiful, beautiful amount of tan um, coming through. So you got nice white socks front and back, kind of have her tippy toes covered there in the front and a nice tuxedo, but then her face has a really nice amount of tan, which I feel is really neat to see and kind of makes her stand out uh, from everyone else. So um, nice looking girl there. Again, her name is Sheik. This um, is Sato, S-A-T-O. So Sato. Mm -hmm. So moving on to um, one of the boys, his name's Sato. Um, you got the nice white socks front and back. He does have some beautiful socks. I feel he's got some of the more uh, white socks in the group, which makes him kind of stand out. Um, beautiful tuxedo and a really nice face. Um, really nice square, blocky face again, which is something I do like to point out. Sometimes you'll get a little bit more of a pointy nose, um, which is something I do like to look for. So really neat looking uh, puppy there. Um, again, that's Sato. Um, and one thing I've noticed about little Sheik is she's a homebody. Um, she'll literally, she'll stick close to you. Um, she was literally, before we started filming, she was sitting back here in the toy basket, just sitting there looking at me uh, for about, for a couple minutes. So uh, she's, she's a very sweet girl and very interactive. So um, really fun to see. This one is Sky. We got Sky next. Super nice pup. She's a little bit not sure if I should be holding her this way. Um, but really neat to see. You got the nice white socks front and back. Her tan points do seem a little bit lighter. You can kind of see almost a cream look there on the side, which I really do like seeing. She's hugging my fingers like it her life depends on it. But um, really nice <laughs> plays in between her. Pop, yeah, so um, she does have a nice little Swiss kiss up top, which I really like seeing. Um, and a really, really fluffy coat for her. Um, it's kind of got more of a, more of a fluff to it. I don't know, it's probably not kind of hard to see on camera, but um, definitely it's got a little bit more fluff, so I really like seeing that. Good girly. Yeah, you can see her tail go, going like 300 miles an hour here. <laughs> this um, one is Sunny. Okay. It's a male. This is what? S-O-N-N-Y. Okay. Yeah. So sunny. That's actually, I, think I love the name. Um, it's been a while since I've heard that name. So, but nice white socks for him as well. Beautiful markings overall. Um, maybe a little bit less white on his face, um, but beautiful tan to make up for that. Um, and sometimes it's a preference as well. Nice white socks, nice tuxedo look. If you're curious about a little bit of the yellow going on on the feet, we, we have started on uh, Puppy Mush, so. Um, they'll get all messy into that, uh, just like a toddler should, so um, you'll definitely see that a little bit. So we can't just bathe these guys every day, obviously, so. But they're doing good. Um, a little bit of a Swiss kiss there for him. Really coming through very well. Um, and that's Sonny, um, sweet looking guy. I'd say medium when it comes to size. He's not the biggest, not the smallest either. Is that everyone? Well, we didn't do Samson. Did yeah, we did. We yeah, did Samson. The second puppy. Was the second yep. one? Okay. Yep. Sparkle, Sky, Serious, <laughs> Cheek, Samson, Sony, Sage, and Sato. Yeah, Sato. We've done yeah, them all. Yeah, we've done everyone. Yeah. So um, I wasn't able to get my last but not least in there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, these guys are doing great. They're right at five weeks old. Um, they will be this week. So. Um, we just did the pictures, the videos, um, the Instagram stuff as well, and we'll be doing some content here. Um, everyone's coming along very well and doing what they should be doing at this age, so um, they're not running behind. Um, they're doing excellent, so if you guys have any questions for Angie or uh, Angie and I, feel free to reach out to me and we can kind of set up a time to talk. Um, and yeah, check out availability, check out our website, it's mountaindogcompanion.com. Um, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My number is 330-234-0102. Thanks for tuning in today, guys, and we'll see you next time.